can you explain how the church decided that fish is permitted on Fridays? And we say maybe other days of abstinence and fasting. Yeah, I, I really don't know the history behind that precept. Uh, so I'm going to have to defer on that one and bow in humility. I don't know the exact development yeah. of how it came to that. I mean, the idea from what I understand is that, you know, meat is considered to be sort of a luxurious food, right? The meat uh, calls to mind the animal flesh, which has a connection to the flesh of Christ. And so by abstaining from fleshly meat, you know, in that sense, we're reminded of the flesh of Christ being sacrificed for us on the cross. And so there's some significance there. Um, but what's the development of that sort of reasoning? Uh, I don't know the history behind that. Do you know? Yeah, that I, I know. I know a little bit about it. Okay. Um, so it's actually, you know, I would say somewhat controversial in the sense that, you know, there are uh, different churches, like Eastern churches, you know, within the Catholic church or even apart from the Catholic church. And some of them do not permit fish right. on, on days of fasting. And so, you know, I think originally the flesh of fish was seen to be connected to, you know, the flesh of other animals. And, you know, there are, I, mean, I even think Byzantine Catholics, right. They have certain days where they can eat certain kinds of seafood, but not other kinds. And right. so this, it's not clear cut, but I like to think of it um, as part of the church's sense of eating Christ, right? In the sense that the fish, the ichthus, Jesus Christ, Son of God, Savior, you know, it was um, this a kind of acrostic uh, image of, of Christ where, you know, you have the different letters of the Greek word for fish that stand for that phrase, Jesus Christ, Son of God, Savior. Um, and so what did Christians do when they would gather in their homes to meet in the early church, they would put a fish above the door. And that was a kind of symbol of the right. Eucharist itself. And so I think that as the church was kind of discerning this and over the, like I said, over the first few centuries, um, fish became more and more accepted as an alternative during fasting. And I think it was because fasting is meant to make us hungry for Christ, as you said, Carlo, right? That's that's part of that reason that as you one up to Aquinas, right? You know, we we fast from food so that we can be be hungry for Christ, and I think the fish positively becomes a symbol of Christ. So it's not that we just abstain from meat, but at a certain point in the Middle Ages, the tradition actually became to eat a fish. You know, because people who were even you know far from the coast would actually have fish even imported for them for Fridays throughout the whole year, right? Every Friday of the entire year. Um, and so it became a symbol right. of our communion with Christ. In the Christ satisfying that. the hunger that we've developed through the abstinence right. of meat. That's right. Yeah. You know, that's beautiful. That makes sense to me. 